Hi everyone, it's Ryan here from SmartSportsTrader.com. In today's video, I'm going to be taking a look at how to use artificial intelligence to profit from the horse racing markets. So I came across BethBet about three months ago when I saw Cam Berry's video going over the software and I thought it looked really interesting. So I've had about three months now with the software uh, and in this video I just wanted to show my results using the software. Uh, I'll go over my uh, strategy as well, the strategy that I use being limited from most bookmakers uh, and I'll, I'll show you how I got use out of it this way and then I'll just really just talk about the optimal way that I think you can use BethBet because um, it's a it's a really interesting piece of kit so yeah let's take a look at the results so I've just logged into my BethBet account and I'm using the pro version of the software uh, and this is just today's results so today I'm up uh, 58 pounds but I'll show you my long-term results as that's what's uh, kind of the most interesting part of this video probably and what most people want to see so I'll just set it to this year so I started using BethBet about three months ago, like I say, so it should tell me here. So yeah, the 5th of July is when I started to use it. And you can see my overall results here. So I've placed 1,771 bets. I made a profit of 1,756 pounds, so close to a 13% ROI. Shows you Beth's profit here, but they calculate Beth's profit differently. Uh, so they calculate that to one pound stakes. Um, and I think it also just calculates the whole, um, everything that Beth bet has bet on. So there'll be more selections. Uh, and also it's a lot higher, but something that I've noticed with Beth bet is they don't take into account non-runners. So let's say I back something at odds of 15, and then there's two non-runners in the race. Um, and I get like odds of like 8.8. .8. Uh, Beth bet will, will record their bet at 15 where I have to adjust mine um, to what it is after the, the non-runners so I think that's just something that Beth bet can automate so Beth bet's profits are, all, are always going to look higher than yours um, so yeah just kind of I'll just quickly talk about my strategy so I had a really simple staking strategy I was staking £10 on odds between uh, 5 to 10 so anything that was between five to 10 and stake 10 pounds, anything that was above uh, odds of 10, I would stake five pounds. So you can see in total I placed um, 13,841 pounds. Uh, average bet size is seven, seven pounds and 80 pence. Uh, and you can see generally I'm taking, I think 2% lower odds than BethBet recommends. Um, but like I say, BethBet will always, when they're recommending odds, it will always be like the highest point. So you, you know, often, um, you'll be taking lower odds than them, but still, it's been super profitable. Um, like a 13% ROI is great. I wasn't really expecting that to be honest. I would have been happy with anything between like 8 to 10% really, uh, over quite a decent sample size. Although the, the odds are quite high, so you do need a, a big sample size. And if you just look generally, you know, it's, it's generally the graph's been going up. Uh, hit like a peak point about a month ago. Um, then I went on a bit of a losing streak, but things have kind of uh, got back going again. So yeah, it's been really really successful so far So let's take a look at how Beth bet actually functions and how you get sent value bets. So it's pretty simple uh, I've just gone on the settings page here, but I've left these um, On the optimal settings. So you've got optimal settings here And this is just what Beth bet recommends that you bet on so I've not fiddled around with this at all really so you can uh, Put your stake size here. So like I say, I'm staking 10 and, and 5 on uh, horses that are above odds of 10 so I have to adjust that uh, you can choose how many horses you want to bet on in the race uh, so that's like the maximum so you don't want to be betting like every horse in the race so you can kind of set this to two one uh, you know how whatever you want you've got min odds max odds um, and then you've got like time as well um, you know you can choose if you don't want to bet like up up to like 30 minutes so this won't send any selections within 30 minutes um, so yeah I've, I've not messed around with this because it's been going pretty well uh, I've just kept it on the optimal settings so this is the workspace area. This is where you get sent selections for the day. So it's pretty simple. You just choose the bookmakers that you can use. You can see that I've got quite a few highlighted. So the only bookmaker that I do actually use is Bet365 and that's just because I find even with a limited account, I can win up to 50 pounds on some, some races. It's 30 on others, but uh, it's a bit more than most of the limited accounts. Like your, you know, with like your Coral and your Bet Victors, like they don't let you have anything. But yeah, you can find that with Bet you can utilize uh, limited Bet365 accounts quite well. So the ones are just selected so that I can uh, get an idea of what the value price is, and then I can look at the exchanges and see if there's an option to to bet them there. So just an example here. 
you can see they're recommending a bet on uh, Spring Glow. Uh, this is with Bet365, it's Kempton, uh, half six. So this COEF placed uh, is basically the recommendation uh, of the odds that you can take. So they're recommending that you can bet uh, Spring Glow at 10 right now. So they're saying that's the price, but they're saying don't take it at less than 8.5. So this bottom one is the kind of minimum price that they recommend. So I tend to go like halfway. If I can get 9.5, I would still take that. If I get like 9.3, I'd still take it. Um, so that's the way that, I, that I've been betting. I don't always just take the top price if it's you know, if it's above this minimum price by a decent amount, let's say it's nine, I'd probably take it. So that's kind of how I've been using the exchanges. So if you click on it as well, it gives you a link straight to that race. Uh, and sometimes the odds will be gone because they do tend to, to shorten. So let's have a look. Spring Glow is 10. Um, there you go, it's 10 there. So let's see how much they'll let me get on this. Let's see if we can get a fiver down. Okay, so they'll let me get five pounds down on Spring Glow. All right, so I've just logged into my Smarket Scout as well, and you can see that you can get Spring Glow at 10 also with Smarket, so I can get a full 10 pound bet on this selection. Uh, and it, I'm making this video a bit later in the day, but you can see, if you just go on all my active bets, you can see that I've put up quite a few bets um, for horse racing. Uh, and you can see that the, like the majority of them do get matched on the exchanges as well. So like I say, using that strategy of, uh, you know, you're not taking the maximum odds um, with the exchanges, but you will find that you will get matched above the minimum recommended odds. And I found that to be profitable so far. I mean, the optimal way is to just use bookmakers, um, you know, because you've got like best odds guaranteed and stuff as well. And if you're, maybe if you've been matched betting, you might have multiple Bet365 accounts that you could use. Uh, and that's a really good way but yeah that's uh, that's just a simple way kind of a simple explanation uh, of how I've been using BethBet so once you've made a bet you just go back to your BethBet account and you can see here we've got Spring Glow so I've got £10 on it at 10 and you just save it and then BethBet will automatically um, save everything for you but what you do have to do at the end of every day well this is something that I do at the end of end of every day is so if I'll, I'll just go on today's results just to show you because you can't edit your results um, and you will need to do this because like I say when you get non runners uh, and if you're using the exchange approach as well where you might put bets up uh, they don't always get matched so I'll just try and find one that's actually ran today okay so I've got one here which is punters poet um, which ran so I got it at 6.4, it was recommended at 6.5, but you can see that's I must have placed this on the exchange because it was it was way above the minimum odds, but it wasn't the bet 365 odds. Um, so yeah, you can you can edit these selections, I'll just have to drag it over a little bit. Um, and you can see, oh there's one at the bottom, there you go, that's easy enough. So good earth. Again, I got 7.3 it's saying. So yeah, I got 7.3 as I bet it on um, Bet365 I took a price and I also took a price on the exchanges which is why it's uh, at 7.3 so you can see that you can edit it so I'll just go over to my uh, Smarkets account and make sure that it was matched okay so here's the bet you can see that I got uh, £5.40 on at 7.2 and then the rest of the stake I would have got on um, at 7.5 so when this happens what I do is I've just put up a little calculation um, like I've got an Excel sheet which calculates the combined odds for me so I'll add this into the, the description if people want to take this um, if people want to take this approach where you know you, you're betting half your stake or as much as you can get on with bet365 or any limited accounts and then you're trying to get the rest on with an exchange so you can see here um, I've got you know I've got two different ones just depending on the stake so this is I had a split stake on this this horse so I had 7.5 uh, odds of bet 365 were 7.5 so staked 4.6 and then I had that 5.4 or five pounds 40 I should say at 7.2 and the total combined odds was 73.3 so 7.4 basically but if I go onto my Beth Bet account, you can see I've, I've put it a bit lower, I put it at 7.3. But yeah, so at the end of every day, this is what I do. Uh, it doesn't take long, it'll take me like 15 minutes. Uh, you can put some music on or whatever and you can just fly through it. But I just check that 
um, you know, I check the odds that they got matched at. Uh, if it won, I make sure there was no non-runners. If there were non-runners, I will adjust it here so you can edit it. And you can see you can change the price. So let's say there was a non-runner, um, you know, and this price changed to 6.4, I'll put 6.4 in and then you save it by clicking there. Um, yeah, so it's a, a little bit of extra work, but you know, it's, uh, you know, it's worth it given that, that you know, it's been pretty profitable um, and it doesn't take too much time. So something else that you can look at with BethBet is you can take a look at BethBet's historical results. Um, so if you click here, you've got bookmakers. Well, first of all, you have to go into your stats uh, and then you click this icon here and that changes it from your own bets um, to the historical odds. So you can choose a bookmaker that you want to take a look at or you can combine multiple bookmakers and take a look at the results. Um, so this is quite interesting as you might see that you get better results with some bookmakers than others. So I brought up Bet365, um, the results from Bet365 for this year. So you can see that Beth's profit is 6,828, so nearly a 17% ROI. Uh, my ROI with Bet365 is actually 25%, so it looks like I'm running very well. Um, but with this profit, you do need to uh, take into account that um, it's not accounting for non-runners, so you do have to shave off a bit from this. But you should also take into account that this is placing bets um, basically up until 30 minutes before the start. So uh, BethBet do recommend that the optimal way of using it uh, is to bet in the morning, uh, and BethBet's profit isn't isn't accounting for that. It's accounting for basically any bet that the software throws up. But that's quite promising though, because it still shows that it's it's profitable. Uh, so yeah, here you go. You got a nice little graph um, from the start of the year. So I think BethBet launched around this time, around April, which is why you can see. But it, it's pretty consistent. You've just got a nice um, kind of upward trend. Uh, and my own profits, you know, have been pretty similar. Really, you've got you've just got a nice upward trend as well. So I do think Bet365 is one of the the softer bookmakers. But you can take a look. Um, at all the other bookmakers as well uh, and see kind of which ones are the softest um, you can't break this up into time zones or anything like that yet that's probably something that that would be pretty cool in an update so like Beth Bet say that you should use it in the morning so between 9 and 12 that's the optimal time uh, but they also do say that it's profitable to use it um, you know 24 7 basically so it'd be interesting if you could break this down and look at you know how Beth Bet performs between 12 uh, and 2 o'clock or you know 2 o'clock and 5 o'clock because at those times the exchanges get a bit more liquid so for someone that's looking to use the exchanges more and maybe get higher stakes on you know that would be something that would be uh, really good to look at to see how it actually performs because even if it's like a 7-8% ROI you know people are still going to be very happy with that I mean I'd be very happy with that um, given kind of the amount that you can bet and the amount of selections that you get. So yeah, this is just another kind of feature of Beth Bet, uh, and that's historical results. So overall, I've been very impressed with Beth Bet. I'll admit when I first heard about using artificial intelligence to profit from the horse racing market, uh, I was a little bit skeptical, although it sounds really cool. Just often when you hear something like that, it doesn't really live up to expectations, but Beth Bet, you know, it has lived up to expectations. It's probably exceeded it. Uh, and like shown in this video, you know, you can use it with exchanges and you can use it with limited accounts. So even if you are kind of limited across the board, um, it's workable, you know, it's a good option. And if you're someone that's, you know, been big into match betting or arbitrage betting, you've probably got quite a few limited accounts hanging around uh, and you can you can make really good use out of them with Beth Bet. Uh, and then, yeah, the optimal way to use them is if you're not limited. So if you haven't been limited by a lot of accounts, you can use Beth Bet and you can kind of run through um, fresh accounts, you know, you'll be able to stake what you want uh, and you should make some good money You will you will get limited eventually because no bookmaker unfortunately accepts um, Losing money to a player. So that is something which will happen, but that shouldn't put you off uh, You know you at the end of the day you want to make money from sports betting and kind of limiting is just the, the end game That's just something that happens no matter kind of which way you make money uh, So yeah, if you want to try Beth Bet out, they do have two packages. They have the Beth Bet basic package so with the basic package, you get sent 30 selections a day, and then it's capped after that. You won't uh, you won't get any more. So that's pretty good if you just want to try it out. Uh, maybe you just want to use it on one or two bookmakers. So that'll cost you 40 pounds a month for the basic package. And then they have a pro package, which will give you unlimited selections. So you can pretty much sit there all day if you wanted, um, and you'd be able to bet like 50 plus selections a day. Uh, like I say, I spend about an hour a day using Beth Bet. 
I tend to get between 20 and 30 selections, sometimes a little bit more. Uh, but the pro software will cost you £100 a month, so that is for somebody that's um, you know willing to put quite a bit of time into it. So if you do fancy trying out BethBet, you can get 40% off your first month by using the code SST40. So I'll put that in the description with a link to BethBet. But like I've you know kind of gone through in this video, it's uh, if you're looking to make money from horse racing, then BethBet's a really good option, and I've been really impressed with it. So that about wraps this video up. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel as that allows me to keep making content related to making money from the sports betting markets. And hopefully it helps out some of you guys uh, and you also kind of profit from the information that I, that I give out in these videos. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. See ya.